Hey guys, Crypto Dad here. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up a Bitcoin wallet on blockchain. Okay, blockchain is a sort of a cloud-based Bitcoin wallet. It's a great Bitcoin wallet. It has a lot of good features. It's very popular. It's been around for a while. Okay, so uh, blockchain is a website. We're going to log into the website. We're going to set up a Bitcoin wallet. It's free. And I'm going to show you how to add some security features to the blockchain and get you set up. And once you have this wallet, you can send and receive Bitcoin. It's great. You can't really buy Bitcoin on blockchain, but uh, blockchain has a lot of great uses. So and it's very popular. So I'm going to walk you through the setup of blockchain. Okay, we're on the big screen here. We're going to launch our web browser and we're going to go to the blockchain homepage. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, as you can see, it's a great, wonderful looking site. It has a lot of features that you can do. Uh, you can follow Bitcoin. Um, you can even help develop. You can buy and sell. Oh, I didn't know you could buy on this site. I guess you can. All right. Well, that's a good thing. But I'm going to get you set up with the wallet here. So in order to start, we're going to put on the, uh, we're going to enter our uh, email. Whoops. Oh, sorry. The dad at gmail.com. Okay, that's my crypto dad email. We'll use that today. Uh, we're going to want a good password here. I've talked about passwords before. This particular password that I'm doing now isn't very long, just for demonstrative purposes. But you might want to use a passphrase, something that's long, something that you can remember, but that has entropy. Okay, a password entropy is uh, its strength, basically. Uh, you know, and it's based on three things. It's based on the length of the password. It's based on the character set. So the larger the character set, the more entropy a password is going to have. And it's also based on its unpredictability. So that's uh, related to you. So if I'm creating a password, I don't want to use any personally identifying information like uh, birthdays, anniversaries, addresses, uh, that sort of thing, because that's the first thing that a password cracker is going to guess is information related to me. So we want a password with entropy. So I've used a, a password here. It's fairly strong. OK, we're going to click OK and hit continue. I'm going to go ahead and save this uh, in the browser just to make things easy. Now, um, it's probably not a good idea to save your um, passwords in your browser. It does make life a little more uh, convenient for you. But if someone compromises your computer, they can get your passwords. So your real strong passwords, you want to either write them down somewhere and keep them hidden or just remember them. Okay. All right, so we're going to get started with blockchain. OK, here we go. We've got uh, zero Bitcoin at the moment. And uh, we can receive Bitcoins. Uh, as you can see here, um, there's no transactions here. Um, we can buy Bitcoin. Ah, OK, so they don't have this yet. OK, I didn't think they did. This must be a new thing. So apparently you'll be able to link a credit card here on blockchain at some point. But first of all, we're going to go to the security center and we're going to. Um, there it is. OK, so the first thing we want to do is uh, verify the email. Actually, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that the when I first set this guy up, that it sent me an email. Yeah, here we go. So we're going to check this blockchain. Uh, we're going to verify this email. OK, now the interesting thing about that is now that we've done this. Mm, let's go back to our wallet. Uh, it's probably going to ask me that. Ugh. I 
was here, wasn't I? Ah, okay, here's the wallet ID. <laughs> I thought I lost it, gang. Okay. Yeah, you know, when you're dealing with Bitcoin, it's not always easy. Okay, so we just have to learn that it's not always going to be as convenient as you would like it to be. Okay, so we're going to paste that wallet ID in there and uh, we'll type in the same. Okay, all right. Now here's the the interesting thing that I was bringing up. As soon as we verify this email, it ties it to your wallet, and it needs to know that uh, that's an extra step of verification when you sign into your wallet. After all, you could have thousands of dollars of Bitcoin in your wallet. So uh, go over here to the uh, Gmail tab, and looky here. They've sent me another email that I've been trying to authorize. Uh, I'm signing into a wallet so you need you want to click this link here after you do that BAM blockchain is happy to let you back into your wallet BAM see how that worked okay so we had the uh, the login was on a different tab I signed in to Gmail I verified that request and BAM so that is the extra security that we've set up on this now remember you're gonna need that when you log in you're gonna need that um, wallet ID which they send you here so you might want to store that in, in an accessible place so now the next step in our security settings is a backup phrase mm -hmm. okay so we click on backup phrase we click here We're going to print this recovery sheet. Mm. Oh, okay. It's going to store it as a PDF. Don't know why. All right, let it do it. All right, so I'll put that in my documents, just for the heck of it. All right, and then we can print that out at our leisure. Okay. There it is. Ah, okay, I see what they're doing. Okay, see they they printed out this this nice piece of paper here for us to. Uh, I think my my uh, yeah my printer's offline right now. It's three o'clock in the morning. Damn it. Okay, so we print this guy out, and then we uh, generate the backup phrase. Okay, so here they are. Uh, you know, it's going to be, I think, around 12 words. So we print them out or, or we, we write them into this piece of paper. Yep. Teach, sort, boil, frozen. Garment, swim. And, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Rex. See, you're not being big, very rigorous here. Uh, okay, so what it wanted me to do was to retype all of those. So I really should have gone through that with you, but uh, I'm not going to do it just to keep the video short. When you do that backup phrase, you want to write it down, and then uh, at the very end, after you've got them all written down on a piece of paper with the numbers next to them, it's going to ask you to put in five of them to verify that you actually have written it down. Okay, and then uh, another step that we can take is to link the mobile number. So you put in your phone number, and it's going to save your phone number, and uh, that'll be an extra step of verification when you sign into your blockchain wallet. It'll send you a text. So that's another great thing uh, to keep your wallet secure. So, okay, blockchain is not uh, on your computer. It's, uh, a, it's a web-based a wallet but if you go through all of these steps here it's gonna be practically impossible for anyone to break into your wallet uh, even if they have your password uh, with two-step verification on they would need your phone as well so uh, it has some great features and it has a lot of really good security that you can set up 
and uh, keep it safe. So blockchain is a really cool wallet and I encourage you to use it. Another thing that's great about blockchain is it has a onion address. Okay, so if you are in stealth mode and you're dealing with anonymous bitcoins, you can store them in a blockchain wallet because the blockchain wallet can be accessed through the Tor network and um, no one will know they're your bitcoins. Okay, so blockchain is one of these tools that we're going to use down the road when I explain how to buy and sell and transfer bitcoins anonymously. If we want to get into full stealth mode, if we want to be completely private on the internet and have full anonymity, we're going to need to go through some things and a few of those things cost money. And so we're going to need to get some anonymous Bitcoin because if, uh, you know, if we're uh, going to set up a stealth machine and we're going to use a VPN service, we don't want that VPN service to be tied to us in any way or form. And purchasing these services with bitcoins is the way to go and if we purchase them with bitcoins we bought on the clear net then it's not really anonymous anymore so blockchain is one of these tools that we're going to use down the road to keep our bitcoin transactions completely anonymous so uh, we'll get down to that in some other videos once again thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed this I'm teaching you uh, some tools on how to buy and sell Bitcoin and uh, that's going to lead to a fully stealthy system that we can use uh, to stay anonymous and private on the internet. So thanks again for joining me. If you like this video, subscribe or click like and I hope to see you again soon.